Welcome back to a new vlog and video with me. I thought I would start vlogging now because I've just had a very exciting delivery and it is currently Friday night and I'm just gonna film this weekend. Jay has officially finished his placement for uni. Not, <laughs> not uni yet, but placement for uni and he smashed it. So the last placement. Your last placement. Yeah. yeah. So he's currently just like in bed next to me here. I've but... just smashed out a thousand hours of, <laughs> of placement hours. That's what I've done. Yeah, a thousand hours of working in hospitals during COVID as well as a physio, which is pretty damn cool. So anyway, we're having a weekend of like chilled things and nice things and bits like that. And we're about to get settled down to watch Line of Duty, which we're watching currently from season one. So are we on episode six? Don't know, just the last one. I don't know, last one. one of season one, and then we want to kind of catch up with everyone, but we're only watching it together, which means we obviously only watch it when we're together, which is like twice a week, so <laughs> not a lot, but we're catching up slowly. So anyway, I had this delivery, which I've literally been waiting for this for the longest time, and they really, really kindly gifted me these pieces. And how how do you think you pronounce that correctly? Neon. Is it Neon Organics? I hope I'm saying that right. Tell me if I'm wrong, guys. But this is their essential oil diffuser. I have heard the most incredible things ever. And Jay has a thing for sleep candles. Like, he's obsessed with them ever since I left mine here by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> ever since then, he just used my most expensive sleep candle here. So, I thought we could use this here because I can't actually use anything that smells too strong. Because when my dad comes home when we live together, which we're currently not at the moment, but when he does, he has really bad asthma. So... It's only possible for when me and Jay are together, which is still like a nice little thing that we can eventually, fingers crossed, in the future have in our own home together as well. But this is the diffuser and you basically get, can you open that please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you basically get this little pack here with it, which is the Wellbeing Essential Oil Blends. I'm just so excited to smell this. So you've got the sleep, the, yeah, the sleep for the perfect night's sleep, the de-stress, and boost your energy and make you happy. So I think me and Jay are gonna try out the sleep and then tomorrow daytime, I think we'll try out the boost your energy during the day as well. But this is the sleep. I think we probably need to read instructions as well. So I will do that. But they also really, really kindly sent two candles through as well. This is the real luxury scented candle, which is lavender, jasmine and Brazilian rosewood. And this is for de-stress, which I really want for at mine because I mean, I'm a bit of a stress head, aren't I? And it smells so good. And then this one here is the sleep candle that they do. I am just obsessed with the smell. This is one of the ones that Jay's already had in his room. So we just got another one of the perfect night's sleep. And mm. <laughs> so good. So that's our new sleep candle for at Jay's. And then this is mine to take back home with me as well. But my goodness it all smells so incredible so we're gonna put this on now and i'll show you guys when it's up and running and give you a first impressions on the little diffuser is it called diffuser is that the right word yes So excuse, <laughs> excuse my hot water bottle. I was just saying to Jay, my hot water bottle looks a bit terrifying in the back there. Guys, listen to the sound. You can just probably hear the TV. <laughs> I haven't got a smell yet, have you? We're just waiting a minute. I put it on for one hour. That is so nice. <laughs> so Jay's falling asleep. He's so tired, bless him. He had a nap before he came and got me earlier. And he's full. Is he. <laughs> His eyes have gone, guys. His eyes have gone. He's ready for bed. <laughs> My goodness. Anyway, I just quickly wanted to show you guys that. It smells already incredible. 
and I've just been so excited about it and I will continue to tell you guys in this video how I'm finding it over the weekend and yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go watch Line of Duty now and I will catch up with you guys in the morning for a little weekend with us. Good morning, my lovelies. So it's now, well, it's actually 10 a.m. Me and Jay just got back from a little walk. He's gone to drive one of his best friends to the vaccine center to get his jabs, which is very exciting um, that that's happening. Now they've both officially, him and his bestie, have had both of the vaccines. I mean, Jay had it months and months ago because he works in hospital. So he's literally been vaccinated. Like I think he was one of the first people to be vaccinated a while ago. So yeah, he's gone to do that. So I'm currently just sitting here online shopping, um, just browsing some of the trends and just getting some inspo. I find like one of the things at the moment I'm really lacking inspiration for outfits. So I'm finding browsing online and like looking at different pieces and then kind of getting experimental with my mood board on Pinterest is like really helping. And I don't know if any of you follow Sophie Milner, but I hope you do because she's absolutely incredible. She just posted this picture I've got to get it up because she's just incredible in this amazing jacket here i don't know if it's gonna focus in this amazing like cream jacket 30 pounds from asta 30 pounds from asta so i'm gonna buy that <laughs> she's completely sold that to me it's so gorgeous and such like a nice little spring piece but before i do that i thought let's just do my skincare for the day together because me and jay have decided to have quite like i mean it's quite grain cloudy and like rainy and i think i'm gonna have a bit more of like a no makeup day and weekend because i've just been like full caking it on for work at the moment in the week and i don't really have to do that at the moment so I'm going to apply the Extra Firming Energy Clarins Moisturiser Day Cream. So this is from their new range, which launches on April the 25th. So if you follow me over on Instagram, you would have seen me like talk about their new products. But they're all launching on April 25th, so I will link them over on my Instagram then. But this is just like a really nice, like nourishing moisturiser. Like it actually smells incredible and it just feels really lovely on the skin. And I find that it actually has just been really working on my skin the last like week and a half. So... I'm glad I found that and it's entered my life <laughs> because I was kind of in the crossing, crossing? The crossroads of like finding a moisturiser that worked for me as I just like always try different things and I usually give myself like 30 days to try a new moisturiser. Um, so I'm currently doing that with this one but I'm really enjoying it. <gasps> the door just went. I think it's my Amazon delivery. <laughs> Exciting! Okay, sorry, I just had to run downstairs and check that it was all okay and it wasn't too heavy <laughs> but it's arrived so basically my rail broke yesterday so i ordered a rail next day delivery from amazon because i don't have anywhere to store my coats apart from when i have a rail so yeah that's arrived <laughs> great but me and jay decided today that we would because it's quite gray and rainy we would head up the downs and have a little walk and a picnic so i'm going to make lunch for us soon and um, we actually haven't been up the downs i don't think the whole of lock like any of the lockdowns that i've been like here and at my flat but um yeah very very exciting and i'm just going to apply my nars lip balm it's just in clear it's like their afterglow lip balm it's just really really nice on the lip and then I'm also going to apply the SOS Clarins new primer in the icy shade and again this is their like limited edition range that launches on the 25th and it comes out like this to help with like neutralizing any red areas on the skin it's also like really refreshing like it's gently tingling which is really lovely as well and then I think that's all I'm gonna do today <laughs> I really don't want to like pile on any makeup today to be honest. I think that's me done. I'm gonna put it all away now. <laughs> um, and yeah, order this jacket from Asda George. I can't believe they do such nice stuff. I'm literally on it now and their spring pieces are so gorgeous. Also, I put the um, Neom Organics <laughs> Boost Energy oil in and it's currently doing its thing and it just smells so good. Like, I can't recommend it enough. If you're looking for a present like that for someone or yourself, then seriously, so, so good. So yeah, anyway, gonna order this, gonna do a bit of admin and some editing before Jay gets back and then yeah, make our packed lunch for a little walk. So guys, we are all wrapped up. It has literally just started raining. 
smashing. We've got our teas in some little takeaway cups. This is the cork cycle one that I was really kindly gifted actually to have like coffees in and stuff like that. But I gave it to Jay because- I was gifted it as well. <laughs> I gave it to Jay a while ago because I know that he needed one and I have so many different cups at my house But this How one, good's that one it's Look so it. good. Look, little handle keeps things warm for up to four hours I'll leave it linked down below guys because it's a good one. It definitely is a good one But we've got tea. I've got a vanilla chai pucker tea with some milk I don't really know if you're meant to put milk with it, but I did anyway and Jay has a normal tea I've with got a, tasty brew. a little bit of milk as well um, but yeah, we're gonna go head up onto the downs on one of my like go-to favorite walks. We call it the circle walk. I actually don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's just the circle walk, isn't it? It's, you, like downs, it's isn't a it? big circle. It's on the downs. There's baby lambs nearby. It's a really lovely little walk. And I mean, baby it's chucking lambs. it down. So I don't know how much, well, how easy it's gonna be for us to sit. But hopefully, it dies no, we're down gonna, we're a little to bit. Sit down in here. No. We're just gonna have to walk and Jeff cake. Walk and Jaffa cake. Yeah, we got Jaffa cakes. Anyway, see you guys when we get there. people here now it is so pretty we're underneath a rain cloud we're walking uphill it's actually quite refreshing though my tea's too hot because <laughs> these are so good at keeping things warm yeah our teas are too hot but um, I thought I'd be holding on to a warm mug it's just ice cold on the outside still so lovely despite I mean we're going the higher we get the colder the rain gets but it is lovely so I will show you guys the views I stopped filming after the walk yesterday. I was just like, not really in the mood. <laughs> I um, got into bed and ended up doing some work. Jay watched the football and then we watched the season two of Line of Duty, the first episode. And I actually think I have ni like had nightmares from it. I don't know, like oh, it's it so- no, it's so good, but I just kept having nightmares that, like, I don't want to give it away. So I don't want to say, but I'm sure most of you who have watched DCI it- Clifton. <laughs> That's a yeah, I just, um, I don't know, there was just a moment in it which I just kept dreaming that was happening. Um, but anyway, we're off out, it's 9am, like 9.30. We've got our coffees, which is much needed this morning. And we're just heading down for our little beachy walk. We're gonna go to the lagoon and do some skipping. And then we are gonna walk along and head up to Flower Pop so I can get like a little pre-lunch snacky because I love going there on a Sunday. So gonna do a little hour weekend walk. Jamie's currently on his phone looking if the gym's open tomorrow. Does it even open tomorrow? Well, apparently they do open, have a Google. But anyway, that is the plan this morning. It's super cold, but it's super sunny. So it's so lovely out as well. And yeah, we're just soaking in this nice little morning walk. <laughs> Jamie looks so antisocial on our walk today. But it's fine, he's just searching if our gym opens tomorrow. But I don't know if I'll be going. I am um, currently am doing like body by Kira workouts still and I'm really enjoying them and I just find them super fun. Tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll be nice. Yeah, they're meant to open tomorrow, but who knows about Pure You're Gym welcome. in Brighton. Um, anyway, yeah, that is what we're up to and I will take you guys along.
it is now officially Monday, the 12th of April. So you'll be watching this tomorrow, but this is Monday. It's snowing. I'm gonna leave a little clip on the screen here. I actually can't believe it's snowing. It is so, so cold. I'm in like six layers. I've got a coat, I've got a hat, I've got a scarf and it's April and I just can't believe that it's snowing and it's this cold in April and yeah. It took me by surprise this morning. I had a full day like planned outside shooting, lots of like spring wear, but I've kind of mixed up today and instead I'm gonna do all my indoor stuff. But very excitingly, I'm off to get my nails done today. I hate not having nail polish on, but oh, I mean, I really hate, like I literally haven't done anything to them, but I hate having the nail polish on and having nails like that. Like I, no, <laughs> I'm trying not to look at them, but literally in about 10 minutes, I'm about to go and do the big long walk to go and see Beth and go and get my nails done. And I am so excited. I will take you guys along today with whatever I get up to. I can't believe things are slowly opening up. How are you guys feeling about it? Have you got anything booked that you're excited for? I feel like it's what the weather's just gone like, here you go. Instead of giving you spring to sit outside, we're gonna give you snow. <laughs> instead um but anyway i hope you guys are all good and you're okay i'm really like all i've got planned is my nails this week i haven't planned anything else because i really want to ease my way into how things are going and i don't really know how i feel i feel very i mean i was saying this over on my instagram i feel very apprehensive and anxious about stuff so i'm just trying to take it really really slow um but yeah let me know how you guys are and i hope you're all doing okay i will take you guys along with me and show you my nails when they're done so my lovelies, I am back. I've got my nails done. I'm so happy with them. I literally, it feels so good to have my nails done. I got full inspo from this gorgeous girl called Jessica on Instagram. I'm gonna leave her little pic here, but Beth is just amazing. Guys or girls, if you're in Brighton looking to get your nails done, Beth is your girl. She's literally incredible. Also, the snow stopped and the sun is officially out. It's like blue skies. It's really gorgeous outside. It was a little bit overwhelming walking back home because I live in like the center of Brighton. It was just so busy. Like it's always one of those things that I've been so used to just walking down the road near mine to get back and it was like stop start. Like I couldn't actually walk down it. So just something to adjust to, I think. And my anxiety has been a bit all over the shop today, but I am about to crack on with some filming. So I'm gonna do a ASOS haul. I'm so excited to share this ASOS haul with you all. It's like spring floral dream. Like it's so gorgeous and the pieces in there are just like so exciting and colorful. And then I'm gonna do a styling basics episode for dad sandals because if you follow me on Instagram, you know that like I'm just obsessed with dad sandals at the moment. And then I'm gonna jump back on here and share some pieces with you guys, do like a mini, mini haul in this video because I feel like there's not been much going on, but it's been nice to kind of catch up and do a little vlog where we can kind of chat and whatnot. But I wanna like add a little bit of something, something in here as well for anyone that fancies seeing some new in bits and some brands that I'm really loving. So. Yeah, gonna go crack on with filming and then I'll be back and yeah, we can chat and catch up. So guys, I feel like I come in a different outfit every time I come and sit down to chat with you all. I feel like it's a little bit wonky, maybe. Anyway, I just finished filming. It's been about four and a half hours. I think that's the most filming like video wise I've done in a day. I did about five, um, but I just found out I have a last minute meeting in an hour um, for something that I'm working on behind the scenes. I'm very excited at some point to be able to share with you guys, hopefully this year. But um, yeah, that's happening. So I've literally got about 10 minutes before I need to run and go and get all my like stock up of health food vitamins <laughs> because I run out. So anyway, before I do that, I wanted to sit down with you guys and talk about three different brands that I have absolutely fallen in love with over the last few weeks that are small businesses, do very gorgeous like boutique -y pieces and are all environmentally sustainable brands and businesses. We're all working to be as sustainable and environmentally friendly as possible. And I know for a fact that I found it really challenging finding those brands. So the fact that I have found these and I absolutely adore them, I wanted to share with you guys as well. So starting with, I'm, gonna, I'm like picking up the pieces but you're gonna see them on the screen here. So starting with Damson Madder, they create really, really beautiful floral pieces, bright pieces, neutral pieces, and the materials of 
and like the quality of their pieces are just incredible. I got this white and purple striped shirt which I just thought was gorgeous and then also a floral dress which you'll see in a minute but the pieces are stunning and they're all made of 100% organic cotton and they work at kind of working with nature and the farms to be as environmentally friendly as possible. I'm actually going to read off one of their labels just so I don't get this wrong but both of the garments are made from organic cotton and Damps and Matter care a lot about the planet and basically do all their farming without the use of the harmful chemicals and pesticides and they also work with nature and farmers to build healthy soils and store carbon to help combat climate change so they're just a really amazing brand of really really beautiful pieces like honestly blown away by the quality and material and the florals and the dress as well this one on the screen here is just so so dreamy and i absolutely adore it and then also one i wanted to share with you all is from a company called oms or ohms i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly but this gorgeous jumpsuit which is actually a little bit too long for me but i am going to be getting it taken in as soon as i can so i wanted to share the two ways i'd style it have kind of like ruched it up a little bit with my belt but it's just absolutely stunning and they work really really hard at working with sustainable fabrics and also working in a sustainable way when they're getting their pieces manufactured as well but all that information will be on their website I don't want to say the wrong thing because <laughs> I don't want to get it wrong because there's a lot of terminology for what the brands do behind the scenes on their websites and I just found it so interesting learning a little bit more about that so definitely check them out as well they do stunning pieces I mean this jumpsuit the material is this beautiful silk and it's just absolutely stunning on and I think if you're above five foot three five foot five you'll be fine lengthwise but if you're below and my height five foot three then it's way too long so I'm definitely going to be getting this taken in because it's one of those pieces that I just absolutely adore and then another brand I recently came across across <laughs> honestly what's happening I feel like I've just like hit my limit of the day I'm so tired now but a brand called Mika and I hope I'm pronouncing that right again they do the most beautiful like linen pieces and they are again a sustainable brand that work really focusing on the right kind of fabrics and ethical fabrics that are sourced ethically and things like that they also use all like reusable and upcycled packaging and also all of their like clothes and pieces are now 100% recyclable as well but the linen sets are are gorgeous they're actually pajamas and they do lots of different pajama sets on their website but I really like styling them for like spring summer I feel like these pieces are perfect for future holidays and like spring looks as well and just so so soft so whether it's for like pajamas that you're looking for pieces like that or you want to kind of style them kind of how I've done here then they're just absolutely beautiful pieces as well and they do lots of different kind of patterns and like really nice neutrals and they're just a stunning stunning brand so I wanted to share that with you guys as well I am also very conscious that I've just sat and spoken a lot in this video so I feel like this might be like borderline getting to like 30 minutes long now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this vlog here and I will see you all in the next video. It's going to be getting more exciting now and there's going to be more fun things I can share with you all because like my hair is being done next week and my eyebrows and eyelashes and I'm doing more fun things hopefully although I have nothing booked in yet. I'm hoping that there'll be more like fun days that I can take you guys along with me as well like shoot days and things like that too. So if there's anything you want to see from me then please just let me know and I'll happily include them in the vlogs as well but sorry if this has been a bit all over the place. Hopefully it was somewhat enjoyable and I will make sure the next few vlogs have like some fun stuff in as well that we can all do together but I hope you guys are all well I'm sending so much love to you all and I will see you in the next video lots of love guys Mwah. bye